Welcome to this week's edition of the RegTech Africa News Roundup. And here are the top headlines for the week. SEC releases framework to support banking sector recapitalization. NETDA Director General calls for integration of digital skills in school curriculum. FG advocates standardization to enhance African trade. In Africa, Ethiopia advances economic reform with steps towards central bank digital currency. Kenya Finance Bill 2024 advances amid public outcry. And in the world, Italian government to intensify crypto market surveillance. And Brazil's tax authority to summon foreign crypto exchanges for compliance information. And now the news in details. In a bid to boast the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN's recapitalization program and achieve its targeted objectives, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has unveiled its framework on banking sector capitalization program for 2024. This framework, released on the SEC's website on Friday, provides a comprehensive guide for banks, holding companies and market participants to navigate the recapitalization process effectively. The Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, Kashifu Inua Abdullahi, has urged a collective effort to update and enhance the current school curriculum by integrating digital skills at all educational levels. The initiative supports the President's Renewed Hope Agenda, aiming to create millions of jobs through digital technologies and achieve a 70% digital literacy rate by 2027. The federal government has emphasized the importance of establishing comprehensive standards for goods and services to bolster the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, AFCFTA. Doris Dokanite, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, made the appeal in Abuja on Wednesday during the 30th General Assembly of the African Organization of Standardization, ASO, which was hosted by the Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON. Let's go for a short break and when we come back, the news continues. Now in African news, the National Bank of Ethiopia, NBE, is taking significant steps in its economic reform agenda by preparing two new proclamations. One of these includes the establishment of a legal framework for introducing a central bank digital currency, CBDC. The Finance Bill 2024, initially presented in Parliament in May, has passed its second reading, despite significant public opposition. The bill proposes increased taxes and levies, including a 1.5% digital tax on local platforms that offer services such as online jobs, rentals, food delivery, and ride alien pending parliamentary approval. In the world news, Italy said to intensify its surveillance of cryptocurrency markets in line with the European Union's market in crypto asset MICA regulatory framework. Under these new regulations, Italy will enhance oversight of digital asset markets to combat and penalize insider training and market manipulation schemes. Brazil's tax authority, Federal Revenue Brazil, is reportedly preparing to request information from foreign cryptocurrency exchanges to assess their operations within the country and ensure compliance with new tax regulations. And that's it, Arctic Africa News Roundup. Join us again next week for all other important news updates.